Number one. Are you enjoying your coffee? It tastes extremely bitter this morning. What does the man mean? Number two. Can you tell me how often the philosophy class meets? It meets twice a week for an hour and a half each time. What does the man mean? Number three. I'm tired of just sitting here. Relax. I'm sure that the flight will depart within a few minutes. What does the woman mean? Number four. The science project is due next week. I suppose I'll have to start working on it now. What does the man mean? Number five. I'd like to order a dozen roses.、Uh, do you deliver? Yes, we can deliver anywhere in the city by this afternoon. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number six. Did you enjoy the biology lecture? The professor droned on and on about cell division. What does the man mean? Number seven. What do I need to cash a check? I have to see a driver's license and a credit card. What does the woman mean? Number eight. Have you been able to find an apartment yet? It's difficult to find affordable housing in New York. What does the man mean? Number nine. Why were you so late in getting home from work? My boss had me finish all the month-end reports. What does the man mean? Number ten. Miss Jones did not look too happy as she left her classroom. She was angered by her rowdy students. What does the woman mean? Number eleven. The prices at this store are really outrageous. You can say that again. What does the man mean? Number twelve. I don't like this weather very much. We haven't seen rain like this for many years. What does the man mean? Number thirteen. Professor Martin, what do you think of the composition that I turned in last week? Without question, you need to improve the quality of your writing. What does Professor Martin say about the student? Number fourteen. Where should I go next? You must stand in this line so that the agent can check your passport. What does the man mean? Number fifteen. Did Paul get his work done? He couldn't finish the assignment because the library was closed. What does the woman say about Paul? Number sixteen. The lawyer spent hours and hours working on that case. It's true that he prepared hard for the case, but his work was for nothing. What does the man mean? Number seventeen. Do you know when the papers for Professor Jenkins' history class are due? They're due next week, aren't they? What does the man mean? Number eighteen. Are you happy with the work that the contractor did on your house? I'm rather dissatisfied with it. What does the man mean? Number nineteen. I can't find a typist to finish my term paper by tomorrow morning. Why not do it yourself? What does the woman suggest? Number twenty. I can't get this television set connected to the cable. Oh, it's as easy as pie. What does the woman mean? Number twenty-one. Is Bob doing a good job in the office? He never manages to turn in his budget reports on time. What does the woman say about Bob? Number twenty-two. Has the auto mechanic told you how much work the car needs? He indicated that the repairs would be quite extensive. What does the woman mean? Number twenty-three. Did Betty listen to what her boss said? She followed the directions to the letter. What does the man mean? Number twenty-four. How's Walter doing in his new business? Well, he hasn't exactly been unsuccessful. What does the man mean? Number twenty-five. Are you going to organize that closet this morning? 
I wish I didn't have to. What does the man mean? Number 26. Did Sally finish that difficult assignment? She gave up before she really got started. What does the woman say about Sally? Number 27. What did Peggy say about the job I did? She couldn't have said nicer things. What does the man say about Peggy? Number 28. Your new secretary seems to be doing a great job. Rarely did new employees take such initiative. What does the woman mean? Number 29. Did you enjoy taking care of the children all afternoon? If you had gotten here any later, I'd have been a wreck. What does the man mean? Number 30. I just got back from the market. So you did do the shopping. What had the woman assumed about the man? Questions 31 through 34. Listen to a conversation on a university campus. You seem to know your way around campus. Have you been here long? I'm a senior literature major. I'll be graduating next June. Your major is literature? Mine is too. But I'm just beginning my work in my major. I just transferred to this university from a junior college. Perhaps you could tell me about the courses you've got to take for a literature major. Well, for a literature major, you need to take eight courses, three required courses and five electives. First, you have to take Survey of World Literature, Parts 1 and 2. This is really two courses, and it'll take two semesters, and it's required for all literature majors. The other course required for all literature majors is Introduction to Literary Analysis. You mean, if I want to specialize in American literature, I still must take two semesters of world literature? Yes, because the two semesters are required for all literature majors. But I only want to study American literature. At least you can take all of your five elective courses in the area that you want. Well, that's what I'll do then. Number 31. What is the woman's status at the university? Number 32. What does the man want to learn from the woman? Number 33. How many total courses must a student take for a literature major? Number 34. The man will probably take his elective courses in which area? Questions 35 through 38. Listen to a conversation between two friends. Wasn't that a fascinating lecture on dolphins? I didn't know that dolphins traveled in such large groups or were able to communicate with other members of their group with those whistle-like sounds. And they also use clicks as a sort of sonar. I really couldn't understand that part of the lecture. You could? Yes. The dolphins use clicks to identify objects in the water. They can even identify tiny objects more than 100 meters away using these clicks. Scientists believe that a dolphin may even have a sonar-like image in its brain of a distant object so that it can identify the object long before the dolphin can actually see the object. So the dolphins use these clicks mostly to identify objects in the water? I think so, and they have considerably more ability to do this than humans do. It's hard to believe that in addition to these sonar clicks, dolphins are actually learning some human language. Yes, I believe that the lecturer said that some dolphins had already learned around 50 human commands, and that those dolphins were able to understand not only individual words, but words clustered together in sentences. Dolphins must certainly be amazing animals to do all of that. I'm sure they are, and we're only just beginning to find out how intelligent they are. Number 35. Where did the woman learn about dolphins? Number 36. Why do dolphins use clicks? Number 37. Approximately how many human commands have some dolphins learned? Number 38. What does the man say about dolphin intelligence? Questions 39 through 42. Listen to a welcome address by a member of a club. 
Welcome to this introductory meeting for new members of the Sierra Club. The Sierra Club is an organization whose goals are centered on the protection of the environment. It was founded in 1892 in San Francisco by naturalist John Muir, who is intent on preserving the natural beauty and harmony of the Sierra Nevadas in Eastern California. Today, the Sierra Club boasts almost 200,000 members in all 50 states of the United States. Through activities such as conferences, lectures, exhibits, and films, the organization works to continue the effort begun by John Muir. The Sierra Club also publishes a weekly newsletter, a bi-monthly magazine, and various books. Number 39. What is the main objective of the Sierra Club? Number 40. Approximately how long has the Sierra Club been in existence?